Ferndale, Michigan. So maybe you're looking to move to Michigan and you want to move specifically to Ferndale, or maybe you're in the Metro Detroit area and you just want to move into Ferndale, Michigan. Well, you found the right spot. In this video, I am going to review Ferndale as well as talk about all of the pros and cons that Ferndale has to offer. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a top producing real estate agent here in Metro Detroit, Michigan. Make sure to hit that subscribe, like, and bell button. That way you're notified of all of the new and upcoming information so that you can stay in the know about Metro Detroit and the surroundings areas. And if you're looking to move to Metro Detroit, Michigan, or even relocate throughout Metro Detroit, make sure to get a hold of me, whether it be through email, phone call, or text. All of that is in the description below. We have helped hundreds of individuals and families move throughout the Metro Detroit area, and we would love to help you as well. So you came here to talk about Ferndale, Michigan. Let's do it. Around the time of World War I, Ferndale developed as a bedroom community for the workers in Detroit. Ferndale was at first incorporated as a village in 1918, but in 1927, it was reincorporated as a city. Ferndale is located close to a number of historic sites and museums. So first of all, let's talk about the location. Ferndale is located 17 minutes north of Detroit and covers about 3.88 square miles. The population within Ferndale is about 19,000 individuals. And Ferndale is actually the neighbor of Royal Oak. So if you haven't seen my video on living in Royal Oak, make sure to check out that video as well. According to niche.com, Ferndale is given an A ranking, starting off with actually a C minus in public schools, B plus for housing, B plus for good for family, A minus for jobs, B for cost of living, B plus for outdoor activities, A plus for nightlife, B for diversity, and A minus for health and fitness. Ferndale was also ranked the best suburb for young professionals in Michigan. And it was ranked number 44 out of 336 as the best suburb to live in Michigan. So let's talk about my favorite topic, which is housing. As of today, there are 18 active listings in Ferndale. The lowest price home is listed at $124,000, while the highest active listing right now is $750,000. Over the past 12 months, the average price of a home in Ferndale is about $280,000. And Ferndale is one of the top appreciating cities throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan at 6.7% for the past 12 months. One of the best things about living in Ferndale, Michigan is actually its affordability. If you're looking for that up and coming neighborhood with a downtown location and plenty of activities or entertainment, but you're also looking to live in a city that has history and character as well as some new constructions and new buildings, then Ferndale is exactly what you're looking for. And one of the benefits of living in Ferndale is that the affordability is actually lower than most of the surrounding areas such as Royal Oak, Berkeley, Birmingham, and Bloomfield. And speaking of affordability, let's talk about the cost of living. Housing is 47% under, utilities are 6% under the national average, groceries are 1% over the national average, and transportation is on par with the national average. What goes hand in hand with the cost of living is also the median income. Ferndale has a household median of $79,000. One of the things that Ferndale is actually not so known for is its school district. Ferndale Public Schools are ranked 49th out of 581 for the most diverse school districts in Michigan. And niche.com has actually given the Ferndale Public School a grading of a C. C minus for academics, C minus for teachers, C plus for college prep, C plus for administration, A minus for diversity, B minus for clubs and activities, and B minus for sports. So as you can see, Ferndale isn't so much known for its school district, but what it is known for is the appreciation of the location as well as the entertainment and activities that surround the city. So whether you're looking to move to Ferndale or just visit the location, let's talk about some of the things that you can do for fun. First on the list is Detroit Axe and the Detroit Curling Club. Both of these are great options, whether you're looking to go as an individual or with your significant other, or even as a family. Next on the list, if you're into improv or comedy, I highly recommend going to the Go Comedy Improv Theater. Third is the Rust Belt Market. This market opens every weekend, featuring over 40 independent vendors and shops offering unique and special products. Inside the market, you'll find fascinating artwork, vintage collectibles, clothing, handcraft, accessories, food, beverages, and local products. Not only that, but Ferndale actually has a great downtown area as well. You can stroll downtown. Most shops, restaurants, and art galleries are concentrated in this small area. Explore its 3.9 mile stretch and visit one of the 350 plus business establishments owned by local entrepreneurs. Aside from shopping, dining, and art gallery hopping, you'll also enjoy an intimate walk through its 
gorgeous streetscapes. Downtown Ferndale hosts various events such as the Holiday Ice Festival and the Funky Ferndale Art Fair. There are also some pretty great restaurants and bars downtown Ferndale. Some of my favorites include Bobcat Bonnie's, Anita's Kitchen, Public House, and Ernie's Market. So as you can see, there is a ton to love about Ferndale, Michigan. Not only does it have very affordable living and a great housing market, but it's also a great city located in Metro Detroit for entertainment and location purposes. And again, if you're looking to move into Ferndale or any of the surrounding areas throughout Metro Detroit, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description below. And if you're interested in any of the other cities throughout Metro Detroit, make sure to check out the rest of my channel as I have videos on all of the top cities throughout Metro Detroit, Michigan.